Hey guys, so this is just a follow-up video from my last video where I upgraded my motherboard to MSI. So what I didn't include in that video, I'm including in this video, which is uh, enabling your XMP profiles for your RAM chips. So I'll show you how to uh, do that in BIOS for this particular motherboard, which is the MEG B550 Tomahawk. So to get into BIOS, you just want to restart your computer and smash the delete key. Ignore my horrible cable management in the background there. So once you're in BIOS, you'll see this screen here and you'll be in easy mode. You'll see your uh, RAM speeds up here in the top left corner. Uh, mine's at 3200, so mine's at the full capacity because I've already enabled XMP. So you'll see the XMP profiles here. All you have to do is click one, and that's all there is to it. You've enabled the profile, and your RAM chip should be running at it, their full capacity. There's a couple ways you can check for sure that they are. Not only um, the information up here, but if you go into overclock and go down underneath uh, DRAM settings um, it'll show the speeds here as well under DRAM frequency adjusted DRAM frequency here if you're not seeing it here you can boot back into Windows and then I will show you uh, how to do it there so once you're done um, setting that XMP profile you just want to uh, save so go down to save and exit here and save changes and reboot and this little thing will pop up just click yes so once you've rebooted back into windows you can just go into task manager so right click your uh, taskbar down here and go into task manager and under the performance tab you can check the ram speed so just click on memory here and on the very bottom left, you'll see where it says speed here. It'll show you the speed of your RAM. Okay, one more thing regarding Windows I want to just cover here quickly. So I, I've left all the links in the description. There's a bunch of links here. And depending on your situation, you may or may not have a license key for Windows. Just follow some of the links below and it will help you out through that process of getting your windows up and running, whether you have to reactivate it or whether you have to reinstall windows. And on that note, uh, I hope this video helped you out of course, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one guys.